phone, dog. We aiming for brilliance. High level maintaining the building. We making a killing. I write my flow sinister. This ain't rap music. This straight literature. Small minded. All your ideas miniature. They tend to hate on you when they can't get rid of you. A wise man told me that silence never betrayed him. Keep your mouth shut, cause go ultimatum. Yeah. Stupid situations, the tongue often creates them. Yeah. The motor mouth is usually causing mayhem. Little tune, flow sinister. I'ma finish him. Many men gon' need ministers. I ain't men in them. Enemies, I'm the enema. I'ma turn on them, just like my keys drop my on a dental work, my thoughts I keep confidential, it's consequential, philosophies unidentical, I'm not in here, my Siamese brother Benjamin, that's how I stick to him, these diamond bees, all VBs, I call them Vivica, skating underneath a bridge, stay hustling as it is, make money, feed the kids, ain't nothing in the fridge, wake up, repeat the sins, hey, I need a 10, stay muddy to the lid, 800, eat a, eat a, eat a. yeah, I write my flow sinister, yeah. this ain't rap music, this straight literature, small minded, all your ideas miniature, yeah. they tend to hate on you when they can't get rid of you, I ain't going nowhere, 20 year career minimum, call hit boy for beats, ask for 10 of them, I don't follow trends, my I swing the pendulum, if the, if the bag good, I'm gonna give her some, yeah, I write my flow sinister, yeah, all right, my flow sinister. <laughs> yeah, all right, my flow sinister. Never lied in my rhymes. You can go act Jennifer. That's my mom's name. I create and find change. My mind frame ensures that forever I reign. us to Uptown Charlotte and rain-soaked Bank of America Stadium. Straight ahead, it's Wild Card Weekend, and we've got a great one in store between the New Orleans Saints and the Carolina Panthers. It's that most wonderful time of the year, the NFL playoffs, as we're underway on EA Sports. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. the 37 on first and 10. 
On first down, right back to Hall. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? A couple here, second and eight. Back to throw. He's got his tight end. It's Tommy Tremble. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that will bring up third and one. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter. Can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to get the first down. And you take a spot now when they do that. Establish what they wanted, the running game. And guess what? There's nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Points one, two, and three in their defensive game plan was to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They did it there. Luckily, offense hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the defense and miss opportunities. And I'm not saying it happened here, but you know what a good rule of thumb is when a play like that occurs? You know who usually recovers it? The guy who missed his block and let his quarterback get hit. They'll drop to throw. He's going to look deep for more. Uh, under a sea of defenders had intercepted. It's Bubba Holden who picks it. There he goes, left side. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Well, they were advancing the ball. They had a couple first downs under their belt, but a big mistake there on the opening drive leads to six points the other direction. And what a good read that was on his part, Brandon, because it prevents a possible scoring drive with how they were moving things along. And it gives the defense the early advantage of what's going to be a definitely entertaining battle between these units. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago and threw the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. He'll get a yard, that's all, as they get him down at the 28. What an advantage having a lead guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. Saints here on third down, an extra defensive back on the field. Now back to throw. Hard throw, incomplete. Well, they've moved the ball okay here in these first two drives, but this one's going to again amount to nothing. They've got to start dialing up some plays that allow them to finish drives with points. On is the punter, Hecker, as he gets this one away. And a fair catch call for him made just inside the 35-yard line. Just 34 yards on the punt there, no return. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. 
From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. He finds his man complete. It's Webster. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. So we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Now it's Wilson. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. How do you get to that one before he wanted to? He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. They had the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here, third and ten. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. This third down just got even more difficult. Third down and 15 after the false start. motion again and that's going to be two in a row now the offense knew it they were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now third and long now it's Wilson the Panther rush too strong they get there and take him down we said it before the game and I think it's still apparent if these guys are going to advance in these playoffs they're going to have to wreak some havoc coming off the edge. Yeah, wild card round. They told us the wild card could be that defensive pressure. They showed it there. Now on fourth down on is the punt team sending this one away. Taken in at the 22. 13 yards the tally on the return there. And it will be the Panthers ball first and 10. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And the results for them have not been strong to this point. Two drives have ended in a turnover and then a punt. So would it be too snarky for me to say that they've shown improvement? Because you had two, two drives with turnovers. Now they punted it away, so at least they didn't turn it over. So that's good, right? You're going to get some angry users <laughs> reaching out to you. And some Silver lining, you know. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Hey, hey, check that, check that. All again on second down. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. Okay. 
They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. They'll look to throw here. And that nearly intercepted. Boy, for a guy known for his hands defensively, that's a ball he probably thinks he should have come up with. But instead, it's fourth down. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. That'll go as a punt of 34 yards that time. And that will come the offense as they take over. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy. Derek Brown. Able to take him down. It's a loss of three. So following the sack, they'll try to change their fortune here on second and 13. They'll run it for the first time with David Pierce. Takes this to the 27. Give him four yards. Typically, they think it's the strong safeties in the big tackles, especially closer to the line of scrimmage against track. In this case, I'm not the free safety. Come back and make it a big time play. And it looks like they've got six DBs on the field here for a third and nine. There's Wilson. And he is going to go down. He will be sacked on the final play of this first quarter. 6-0 our score after one. Down Ryan Stonehouse on to punt. Now he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. They'll score that a 36 yard punt, and the Panthers will take over in terrific field position. and 10 it's Hall and nothing much materializing there on the first down run he'll get a couple and that's it they suspected it was a power play up the middle coming at him and boy were they right that defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down Let's go now. the last run good for two here's second and eight They'll look to throw. And he's got the hook up to Moore. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. So that one a hold right guard. And you understand why offensive and defensive linemen probably go to martial arts schools and work on their hands so often because that can be the make or break difference on a play. This time he had to grab a jersey in order to make the play happen. Got caught for the penalty. Ready. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Drop 60, drop 60. They'll set up a throw. In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. It's Bubba Bolden who picks it. And the Saints will take over possession here up at the 44. 
We don't see this often. A quarterback of his caliber, two first-half interceptions. It's absolutely surprising because it happens so rarely. You're searching for what reason, what's going on out there. It's not just maybe the defense is playing well. Is this horoscope off? Is biorhythms? What is it? You went horoscope on us, David. Well, I was thinking maybe REM sleep was off. I'm trying to come up with something. Anything, right? They'll start on the ground with Pierce. And a good pick up there. He gets about six up to midfield. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. The last run got six. Now second and four. And Pierce gets it again on second down. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. That's a good tackle in there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, give me the third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Jet sweep to try to pick it up. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Seven yards there. Good enough to move the sticks. Well, we've seen running backs in today's NFL get involved in the passing game. Maybe it's about time more receivers like that get involved in the running game. And that is something we are seeing more and more in this league. No question about it. That wasn't the biggest of gains. That's enough to get him a first down. And it continues to test the defense. They have to think on every play about who might end up with the ball. That's some good hard running there as he'll push his way forward for about five. That was a good forceful run, and it demonstrates why you've got to put your body on a runner when you're trying to tackle him. If you just go in there and just try and get him down with arm tackles, usually doesn't work very well, and we saw in that play, he'll run right through those attempted plays. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. And Pierce gets it again on second down. And he's going to get this pretty close to a first down. Stopped at the Panthers, 29. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short. What it does is emphasize the strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. And he is going to have a Saints first down, at least at first glance, as he'll spot the football just beyond the marker. They find a way to convert on third and inches. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. First and ten, it's Pierce. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit.
say to themselves right now, we have to do something differently. They're two for two on third down conversions on this drive. This one tough. They need nine yards on third down. Smith, the man in motion left. The Panthers are going to use the second of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. The offense on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and nine. Fighting Johnson on the out route. That's complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 13-yard line. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. Pierce takes it straight ahead. And they'll go backwards here, losing yardage to the 14. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Brandon, that's what you call being manhandled at the point of attack. And I know the offensive line gets a lot of blame for that one. But occasionally, the defense just knows what you're going to do. Maybe they scouted it perfectly. Maybe someone tipped it off. But on that play, it had no chance. And they'll send the slot in motion left. Pierce gets it again on second down. And he is not going to go anywhere. They're going to get to him behind the line, and that is going to get us to the two minute warning. Second down went the wrong direction. They'll try to do better here on third and 13. Here's Wilson. Well, it's caught on the right side at Smith. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. Looked like the screen pass was taken away there, and that was a nice job of improvising, but it's not normal. Usually when the screen pass is taken away, you're taught to just throw the ball at the ground at the feet of the receiver so that you don't get it intercepted and just start over. But he ended up finding another receiver. Here's the sneak with Wilson. And he'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. They only needed a few inches, and they didn't get much more than that. But by about the width of a shoelace, they convert on fourth down. They give it off here to the tight end. And he'll get him a bit closer as he's down to the two-yard line. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. A lot can go wrong when you call a play like this down in the red zone, but that's where you appreciate this from your head coach. He's not afraid to trust his guys to do the right thing, and as a player, that means an awful lot. They'll run for it with Pierce, and he takes it across and into the end zone. Touchdown, Saints. Damian Pierce taking it in from two yards out, and the Saints will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. This time, the extra point up and good. And the lead now stands at 13. The ball upright on the tee, and the Saints kick team booms it away. This will be fielded inside the five. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. Yeah. 
This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And with him down two scores, you wonder if they might try and put something together, even if it's just to get into field goal range. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. Well, partner, they're not content to run this one out as we head towards the half, trying to hit a big chunk play right there and add to their score. Now, yeah, this is a confident group. At the very least, they're thinking field goal. Yeah, and I don't blame them one bit. I don't think you sit on the ball going into the half when you have a chance to put some more points on the board. here and he's able to plow forward up to about the 29 just shy of the 30. on third and short they'll try and pick it up through the air and that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete well based on what we've seen so far i don't think you can even call this an off day anymore partner because this group we're watching they are totally out of rhythm trying to get their game plan up and running that zero on the scoreboard is glaring down at them with every incompletion. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. A pretty good punt there, but also a nice return of 12 yards. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. So time perhaps for one final kneel down before they take this lead to the locker room. And with time running down, they go down to a knee. So we come upon halftime here in this NFC wild card matchup as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. One of these two teams about to play their final half of the season as we're back at it in this NFC wildcard bout. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And they've been the better of the two teams through two quarters of play, much to the chagrin of this home crowd. Yeah, this score is a surprise to a lot of folks at home, although not to my dad. He predicted the visitor would win. And maybe to the folks in the stadium, but you know who is not a surprise to, partner? This team with the football. They were very confident coming in. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. now Wilson and he can't get rid of it he's taken down taken down for the fifth time this game multiple defenders there to get him that's the second sack of the game in the best defensive ends they do their homework as much as offensive guys do they know how to beat the offensive lineman across from them what moves they need to do to set them up this guy's been pretty good at it all game long slot man moves right And the slot man goes in motion left. And some space here. It'll be a Saints first down on a gain of 16 yards. They've got the lead early here in the third quarter, and runs like that are how they established that lead in the first half. I love the fact that you're using the word lead because they are leading from the front, pounding on the defense right now with the running game, and truly establishing themselves here in the second half. Got it. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Lock it. 
Here's Snell up the middle. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. And plays like that are exactly what this defense needs here early in the second half to give it a little spark. I think their halftime adjustments, what they talked about, maybe it's just a little inspirational speech. Who knows? But looks like they're ready to go. And the tight end goes in motion left. On second down, it's Webster. And he's going to be brought down inside the 45 at the 43. And he's able to get more than half of what they needed. That brings up a third and five. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football. Sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. From the shotgun, Wilson. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Kyle Hamilton picks it, and the Panthers will take over possession here up at the 44. That is just what this defense was hoping for, an interception on the opening possession of this third quarter. Obviously didn't want to surrender a touchdown and fall even farther behind, and we've gotten to know this team a little bit, haven't we? Couldn't you just see their defensive leaders telling the offensive guys, telling the quarterback, don't worry, we got you to start things off. You take it from there. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Now Hall to start the drive. They'll start in excellent field position following the INT. Yeah, this is going to be a Panthers first down as he's got this up to the 45 yard line. First downs have not come easy, and neither of runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. the football and this is picked up by the Saints the 20 10 5 and he's into the end zone a fumble return and a Saint touchdown so a great play there by the defense if these guys are going to advance and it looks like they will this defense a big reason why and they love carrying the mantle for this team don't they you see the way that they move around out there they want to lead this team deeper into the playoffs and hopefully onto the super bowl and yeah, that return for a touchdown certainly helps that cause footing always a concern but the extra points up and good and that pushes the lead up to an even 20. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. This will be fielded inside the five. Oh, a good looking return set up here. And they'll have very good starting field position as he's up just shy of the 40. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. This pass out wide to Hall. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. 
So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And it's third and four now. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page okay, on that one. Right. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. Now on fourth and inches, they're going to want to talk this over. We get a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. It's a quarterback sneak. And they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. Straight ahead is Hall. Oh, he's got a little daylight. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. The 71 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. You know, I have a pretty good friend, Charles Davis, who tells me that when he sees plays like that, strong runs to the right, reminds him of the 1960s Green Bay Packers. Boy, those were the days back when the fullback actually carried the ball as well as block. Then you had a halfback, you had pulling guards, guys who could get out and run. And you can hear the great coach saying it back then. So we get a seal here and a seal here. And we run this play right in the alley. On second down, a run with Hall. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. They push him back eight yards that time on second down. And just when the offense seemed to be figuring things out, they have a little bit of a setback there. Finally getting a drive going. They can't let that stop them, especially since they've been shut out this far in. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And check down, complete to Hall. And they're going to be set up now with the ball at the 13-yard line. And that big game may just change the thought process here on fourth down. I think in the red zone, they might now consider going for it on fourth down. So on fourth down, Matt Rule brings out the field goal unit. From the left hand, should be a fairly easy one here. And this one is right through. And that would move the deficit from 20 down to 17. So it was fourth down and one in the red zone, but they elect to take just the three. And I'm a little bit surprised that that's exactly what they decided to do. I kind of thought that they would go for it in that situation. But sometimes I'm sure you just think to yourself, take the three points, put them in your pocket, and move on. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. As this offense takes the field against CD, remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception, so we'll see if they can right the ship here on this drive. And doesn't that just sum up football? We see it all the time, don't we? The defense goes from losing the battle to making a huge play and stealing the momentum. So you know they're riding high right now, and they're ready to challenge this offense and that quarterback one more time. And we'll see if the offense is up for that challenge here as things start to get more interesting here in the second half. And we're back now in Charlotte. It's the Saints. They'll be looking to expand their lead here. They've got the football as we start the fourth.
So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Up the middle they go. Webster. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. 12 yards there, good for a Saints first down. Yeah, I think we can get used to seeing more of that in this fourth quarter, especially if they're having success on the ground like they did there. Yeah, I think back when we met with the head coach in, in preseason, and all he talked about was building a bully. And I think it was this situation he was envisioning. Trying to ice a game, plenty of time left, but being able to give the ball to his big runner and pound away and try to finish off the game. Now a handoff for Pierce. And a very determined run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 27. Good effort. That's a 12-yard gain now on back-to-back -back plays. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. And only a yard this time as he's taken down right around the 26. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. Yeah, that was a safety that came through and made the play, but there's no doubt in my mind, he hits like a linebacker, and we see a lot of that in today's NFL, don't we? And that time, we do indeed a big hit for a loss. The Saints on third down, three for seven so far in this game. This is third and 11. Now a handoff up the middle. It's Webster, and he's not going to sniff the first down here. He stopped at the 25. Four yards on the pick up there, but it's going to take him to fourth down. Out now is the field goal unit for New Orleans. This from 42 yards out. And his kick is right there. It's good, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And they are most likely staring at a cold end of their season here in this wild card round. Nothing has gone right so far. And they are, to be frank, in desperation mode now as they begin with a first and 10. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. We've seen that the deep ball's been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it, unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. Let's go now. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. He'll look to throw. Looking left side, that's caught by Moore. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. His second catch in this wild card game, and it goes for a first down. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or you know, something that feels a little bit cheap. But if they trim that lead down to just two scores, that's still a benefit to this squad. 
That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. Defensively here, you've got the cushion, but back-to-back -back pretty big pass plays there. Bend but don't break, but are they bending too much? I think that they are. To me, it'd be like playing basketball, and you put up a token press. Make sure you get up there and make them eat up some time. Make it a little bit of resistance so they can't just run it right down your throat. 19, Tiger! 19, Tiger! 60 Eagles! 60 Eagles! They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. To the sideline, and wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it, but he is able to keep the feet in bounds. So back-to-back -back plays each get nothing. And now it's third and four. If you run an out route, it's likely you end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up, and making sure it was a catch. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Back to throw again. He's got a man open. It's Chase Claypool. And the Panthers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. They'll run with Hall. And he is in. Touchdown, Carolina. Brees Hall taking it in from two yards out. And the Panthers are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. The fourth quarter touchdown there, back to a two-score game, but time is not their ally. No, it's not, partner. They still have a pulse, but it's probably a little weak right now. A lot of things have to go right in these final two minutes plus for them. I think they have to be thinking onside kick here, and we know how difficult those are to recover. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Taken in at the three. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And they are looking good. A two-score lead here in this fourth quarter as they hope to capture a spot in the divisional round next weekend. And this defense here going to burn their second timeout. But you can also factor in another timeout that they'll get when the clock stops at the two-minute warning. Defensively, no doubt they need a quick stop. Offensively here, maybe do you put it in the air on second down, or do you go ahead and keep it on the ground, keep that clock moving? A lot of people would ask that question, partner, because sometimes throwing the ball might actually be the path of least resistance. But in this case, it's a matter of trust. How much do you trust your quarterback? Because you throw the ball that goes awry, you really don't look smart as a coach. Yeah, and then you stop that clock. And now here comes the third of their timeouts defensively. So they'll be left with only the two-minute warning to stop it from here on out. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. From the gun, it's Wilson. Pressure comes in. He's brought down. It's a Panther sack. Brian Burns getting him once again his third sack of the afternoon. But collectively as a defense, Charles, I think if you get four sacks a game, you're feeling really good. Now they have six as a unit. And that type of a number, it's just staggering because there's so many ways to try and counteract it. But in this case, they've got no answers for this unrelenting pressure coming at their quarterback. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And 
And it's fielded at the 34. Call it a 48-yard punt. Give them nine, though, on the return. And the Panthers will take over now, first and 10. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, you've almost got to get down to those starters blocks like you're a sprinter. Get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier said than done. But they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting them to shreds. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four-down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Again, he'll drop to throw. Throw left side complete. That's more. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. They'll look to throw again. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion. So I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a non-stop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now. Because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. Here we go, here we go. After the incompletion, here's second and ten from the 20. It's more. And they're going to be set up now with a ball at the 13-yard line. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. And it's caught. He's got it for a late touchdown. Probably a little too late. It would take a miracle of epic proportions if they're going to pull this one off. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. you got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. And this is going to be recovered by the hands team. And that should just about put a camper on this one. They had to go for it with no timeouts remaining, though, now. This one's as good as over. They gave it an effort. They tried their best, did everything they could to try and get the ball on the onside kick. You're exactly right. They had to try it. It was their only option. And now this game is done. Just take it, kneel, and call it a day. They go down to a knee, and that will do it. They are moving on here in the playoffs. And the Saints season will march on as we say thanks for watching and so long.